on a server famous for having huge clans, I chose to piss them all off. And on top of that, I was going to live in between them, but they wouldn't know I was there. And why is that? Well, my base would be disguised like a noob space with a hidden secret inside. This was awesome. This was epic. This is a must see. Right. Uh, and this server, I want to live near a clan for some reason. And after a few respawns, I was gifted my first target. For some reason, they didn't react, so I started to loot the furnaces, and boy, were they loaded. question was, would I be able to get out? So much. Fortunately, their base was located in a fresh spawn area and I was able to recover some of the metal. Get a life. Are you cheating? And that's when I stumbled upon it. What was going to be my base location? And this base was going to be awesome. I had big plans for what it. What about living in between rocks like this, guys? There's enough clans here to piss off, I guess. I'm asking for trouble living here, but hey. With one health, I quickly farmed up some wood so I could secure this 4,000 metal I had. This base could be really cool, guys. This base could be cool. Okay, in between those two nodes. Marked. Oh, wait, no, go down. At least we got four we got four thousand mil from those boys which is a nice a nice win to start the day we got a nice target that's pretty geared up still on one health i try to secure myself some resources to secure the location of my desired base hey dude i'm friendly dude i'm friendly yeah but i'm also one here those guys have roof door open i need to find a hot air balloon guys roof door open you know when you're like you're wishing you had stuff already All right, TC, lock. Should I kill him, guys? Because he could be crafting a spear. Fucking bitch. I'm friendly, my ass. Fuck you. Literally as I said it. Literally as I said it. He had such a nice voice as well. I trusted it. Don't worry, guys. You haven't missed out on anything. I'm just putting the door down now. Another one already raided. Why is everything raided? It wiped yesterday. And yes, for reference, wipe day was the day before. It's not even 24 hours old, the server, and there are huge clans everywhere. I'm in for a tough one. Yeah, it's pretty nicely hidden, isn't it? I need to fresh spawn. As it was night, I went to check on the water boys, and yes, I've named them the water boys. Do you think it's the FK? Nighttime FK, surely. Well, that naked got blamed. When I get a gun, you will be dead, Kitty. It was then I met the next clan, and they were taking Heli just down the coast from the Water Boys. And Joe is their leader. We'll call them Joe's clan. Allow me to give you the big picture. Here you have me, then you've got the water boys close by. Further down the coast, you have Joe's clan. Then you have the lighthouse crew and also the roof camper clan. These are the main clans in the area, but there's obviously a lot more bases too. But for now, that's all you need to know. Now I'm going to try and get straight to Furnace. I'm going to go to Harbour and try and get the low grade barrels and use the ore refinery there. Our base is well hidden. I like that. We need to get to tier one as well. We need to, we definitely need to concentrate on some scrap farming. Might be best that we try and get low grade and hit hit up the ocean. 
No fucking way. Yoink. Somebody else has been doing that and forgot about it. 293 low grade. Huge win. What's your favorite furnace skin? My favorite one is definitely the uh, pixel one. The zombie one's good as well. And nobody lives in this base. Um, please go away. Thank you. Oh my god, my stash is still out there. I forgot my stash is out there. Um, there's people on top of my mountain. It's just a cheeky. Is she? It's Kitty. As you can see from that, I am well and truly in clan warfare land. The question really is, is how will my base survive in this area? Will they allow it to be here or will they just overlook it? And will they know that that base will be the culprit of all the mayhem that's gonna happen? I started designing how my expansion was gonna look and I was beginning to like it. This will be the main secret strong part of the base and the rest of it will be surrounded by like wooden twigs disguising what was really in there. How do we like that chat? That's pretty cool, right? Few more stone. And then once we do that, we'll hit the ocean, start getting scrap. Ah, uh, we need metal tools like yesterday. Yeah, go ocean, get some BPs and eco. Deal. The area I lived in wasn't very monument heavy and there wasn't much scrap around. So I turned to the ocean and to get there, I'll need to buy some diving kit, which was in the fishing village just next to Joe's clan's base. And they were very active. What does he give me? Does he give me a pump shotgun? That would be huge. Boy, you got lucky. I farmed the ocean bed until my scuba tank ran out. 15 seconds. Go, go, go. So swim, swim. Nine. Three seconds. We got it. We did it. 124 scrap. Give me shotgun. Thank you, sir. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Wish me luck, guys. If I don't get home, we're ending stream. We just spent, I feel like an hour in the ocean. We're going to go left around that base. I deliberately took the long route home. I can't believe how geared everyone is. Like, I'm not even 24 hours late to this wipe and everyone is absolutely geared. Yo, that's the boys. I just ran past their base. I wasn't even anywhere near their base. No, 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 guys, don't worry. I didn't end my stream, but I was demoralized. But it just fueled my rage and it just meant that Joe was my number one target. I changed up my tactic. I really needed a tier one workbench and I headed towards the snow the opposite direction to all the clans, hoping for some loot. Right, let's make a tier one. Progression is happening. It's the worst TC room in the world, but it'll do. I don't know whose bag this is, but you can fuck off. Remember, if bags are inside a TC range, they don't decay. So I have to manually get rid of any bags around my base. I'm not going to lie. I was having a tough time of it, constantly getting killed. This area was full of clans. But what do you expect when you choose to live in such an area? However, eventually, my time would come. Okay, we are secured. After securing my base a little bit more, I took a small break and came back. Feeling a bit more fresh and motivated again, I decided to turn to an eco raid. And at the same time, the water boys were getting raided. I have no idea if this was worth it. I had an eco raid target. Hopefully this will be the win that I needed. And every opportunity I got, I expanded the base a little bit, making it look more and more newbie and less secure, which was the plan. And my first break came when I went to check out the water boy's base, which had just been raided. I found out it'd been raided by Joe's clan. And although I didn't really get much loot from it, the tools were extremely useful. That is what I need.
Honestly, that clan, I'm gonna get raided. The fucking roof camping. The water boys had been raided by Joe's clan. They were now gone, but the roof camper clan were active and unfortunately had a great view of my door. Is it a roof? It looks like it's a roof down job. The roof camping clan were now getting raided as well, and I was pretty certain Joe's clan were doing it. Whilst that distraction was going on, I seized the opportunity to raid the base right next door to mine. The roof camper tower hopefully would have a gun or two in it. Um, I haven't got around to naming anyone yet and everyone's getting raided. Yeah, at this moment in time, I actually hadn't given half these people names yet while I was playing. Imagine spending... These guys must have been on the server 24 hours and then finally logged off and got raided. Yes, eco race for the win. Oh my god, eco race for the win. We needed SARS, I'll tell you that much. That's huge. That is huge. We belong to the water boys. Game changer. Absolute game changer right now for us. Get in. Three SARS. First eco raid down. Boom. I was over the moon. My first eco raid complete, and it was a success. SARS, quite a hard gun to get in general unless you kill someone because it's quite far down the tier two tech tree. And as you know, I'm really struggling for scrap in this area. With Joe's clan raiding the roof camper clan, I went to check out their base because maybe they left their furnaces running or something. Do they have roof access? Oh, they do. Have they been raided? Oh. <gasps> yes, we can eco raid them. Friends with you, I can eco raid them. Guys, do you want me to quickly try and jump in their compound and nick from their furnace? I think they're the ones raiding. Let's run past their base and see if we hear movement. One ladder to get in. I decided not to jump into their compound because they could come back from their raid and I really wanted to get that eco raid done. What the fuck? No. Oh. oh, I, I don't... Guys, I don't want to get a SAR and take him on. Oh, they'll know where I live. I don't want whoever this geezer is to know where I live. I was like the raiders are struggling with a shotgun trap. Yeah, I've done it. Happy? I've done it. I crafted spears and came back to the eco raid. I hope they can't hear. Maybe they know I'm here. They're not raiding. They're probably just trying to wake me up. They're probably going, hey teammate, someone's eco raiding your base. Why have they just shot a rocket at this base? Yeah. Oh, it's a great start. It's a fucking great start. We can keep going. And we can actually keep going. This is stupid. This is stupid. If we we need to get home. Here, here come the raiders back. That is a lot of comps. That's huge. Having severely struggled for components and scrapped this wipe so far, this was a huge win. I need to take it home and come back and eco raid through the next wall. I'm ninja. Get in. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. Fuck yes. I'm taking down a clan by taking down their friend. This is how we do it. They're busy raiding and I'm raiding their friend. How's that for ironic? Once in my life, I'm being restrained. He's naked as well. He's naked jackhammer. That took a lot of restraint. That took a lot of restraint. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Sulfur. Stone. Is there a ladder to get up here if I drop down?
daylight robbery this guys i took the loot home and this time i decided to eco raid with salvage hammers we've suddenly made mega gains guys mega gains Hang up, he's not clicking <laughs> Legit distracted. I was legit distracted. That saved us a bit of effort. Why would you leave the other door open? Get up. No! I then jumped into Joe Clan's compound. It looked like they'd finally, finally logged off for the night after offline raiding the two main clans in the area. What do you think, guys? Do you think four satchels are through here? I can see beds. I might be able to get some guns. If I go on my recycle run, I could craft four satchels probably. I'm your neighbor. Can you please add me in the team? I live there. He hasn't realized it's me. Oh shit, you're sick. <laughs> you're the one who's eco raiding me. Oh my god, man. That was good. I mean, hopefully I, I got on in time. We, can we make a truce? I, I made an alliance with this group. I just have like one SAR. You see, you see my base is shit. These guys are, are really, really good. I think one of them got banned uh, from cheating. We'll get recycle, we'll get um, satchel learned, guys. Joe's clan had had a busy day. They'd wiped out not only the water boys, but also the roof camper clan. And now they'd gone to sleep. And this was my time to thrive. So first I went to recycle to get enough scrap to learn the satchel charge. And then I was going to blow through their base bit by bit. And the fire arrow learned. Done. Um, will you fit? No. Yes, you will. Pretty wise to have just just in case burn them alive if they drop in and before long I was ready to raid I then eco raided through a wall to see what I was dealing with Alexam This base was looking pretty secure. However, I was going to blow through the ceiling and hopefully I'd get to some guns soon. It was also extremely late for me, but my stream had convinced me to stay on. They wanted to see me get some loot after all my hard work for that day. So I did. I headed to the snow to farm. That's the active furnace base. Why is this furnace base so f big? I have no way out, guys. I need, to, I need to go get a ladder. At least once I'm in there, it's going to be hard to get out. Oh, fuck me. Guess it's about the small gains, right? Oh, yeah. I was lucky I dropped in where I dropped in. If I dropped anywhere else... Whilst the sulfur was smelting, I made a few more base upgrades. The idea, as I said, is to completely make it look wooden so nobody would even suspect it to have good loot inside. How's that for roguely hidden? How's my base looking, chat? It was now time to blow down another level. I 
was about to lose all hope, but it wasn't until I had a look from the outside to realize it wasn't honeycomb. These doors led to somewhere. For the whole north side is shooting floor and the rest is nothing. So all that side is shooting floor. We might be uh, in an eco raidable situation here, guys, there. Possible wall. Please. <sighs> yes. Fuck yes. Oh my god, we needed that. Oh my god, we needed that so bad. Get in my inventory. Fuck off, Bo. I need, I need to go for a little run on the AK. I need to try playing AK for a second. Got two more sets to play with if it fails. Oh, they, they were suddenly really good. Fucking did the hazzy trick. Yeah, one's revolver, one's thing. 300 scrap though. And just like that, I've made enemies. <laughs> I had an AK for one second. Literally, I, I literally walked out my base and encountered two guys. Fucking hazmat trick as well. I wanted more sulfur, so I went to the snow to farm. I wasn't done with that base I got the AKs from. Surely there'd be more bedrooms. Jackhammer. Things were going well. I really enjoyed having an AK and the area I lived in was full of sulfur spawns. I didn't even need to go to the snow, but I decided to put the AK away as I was drawing too much attention. I want to survive the night after all. It's all about the role play, guys. It's all about the role play. So basically, guys, I want people from the outside are going to look at this base and see a noob's creation. You know, just a big noob's creation. But inside, we have a bunker base. That's it. There we go. We legit need to go out on a wood farm again. By this point, another nine satchels were ready to go, and I blew through the garage door, hoping to find more bedrooms I could eco raid into. Pokey. All right, Pokey, let's see if you're allowed big guns or you're one of the small gun boys. Oh, fuck yes. This is exactly what my dreams are made of. Look how beautifully organized it is as well. There was no way I was staying up all night to farm satchels to raid their base. That was going to cost too much. I would need rockets for the base. That would be the end game plan. But for now, I was happy with the AK sets I got. That would put me in good stead. And they were all hidden away in my secret wooden base. Now I was going to seal the bunker and log off for the night. Oh, loading in, loading in, and the moment of truth. Someone's outside farming. 33 hours upkeep. Next question, has anyone eco raided into our base? No. Should we go outside and have a look? Has anyone broken into here? No, they've had a look though. Someone is farming wood out there. My base has caught attention, but no one has eco raided it. The server is full. <laughs> we did get eco raided. We did get eco raided. <laughs> Quite a lot of eco raiding. Looks like it's not that long ago. Some flame raiding. Look, my base got attacked overnight. How funny is that? And they're like, oh. Hello, random naked. You like my base? Yes, you like my base? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Go check on our raided friend, Joe. Hello, Joe. 
I see flashing lights. You probably got turrets now. Are you mad? I've been sleeping for eight hours. What have you been doing? You've been placing turrets. <laughs> they place turrets. They're like, who's this guy that's nicked all our stuff? I want to break free. I want to break free. It was very important for me to stay low profile to avoid getting raided surrounded by all these clans. When I went out farming and stuff, I'll take out a small gun. Oh my god. How can you have the drop on me like that and fail? How? Where is that? And this area we live in, guys, sulfur rich. Knock, knock. Interesting. Remember, guys, if these guys ever kill me, I'm evicting them. Just remember the names. I've warned these kids. Oh, bro. What? What are you doing, bro? Stop. Why? Stop shooting me or I destroy your why? base. What do you mean, why? Oh, you, you, you shoot me first. Uh, no, you fucking shot you me. You shoot me first, You sh don't. I wanted to start the day off with an eco raid, and that's exactly what I did. Sorry, sorry. Hey, hey. Hey, brother. Yeah, don't, don't hack me. Yeah. Do you hear them go? He was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to be nice to noobs in the game. I'm trying to, guys. They don't make it easy. Hey, listen, listen. You want to live here? Uh, what, 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 yeah, what? yeah, what, what, what? You want to live here? What? You're not allowed to shoot anyone. No, no. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, you need a tool cupboard. You know tool cupboard? Get a tool cupboard. And twig is weak. Get a new... Get a, get wood and make it upgrade. Get stone. Yeah, yeah, we, we need to farm. Okay, stop being lazy. Go. Uh, okay, okay. Hello, hello. Hey, come help me. Hello, hello. Come help, come help, come help. It's okay. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Behind you, behind you. Come back. Broken, broken. It's broken. broken. Yeah, give, give, give. I'll repair, I'll repair. Give, keep broken. Go away. Hey, hey, go away, go away. Go away, go away, you wanna die? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we, we chase him, we chase him, take sword. Hey, you wanna die? Oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Bandit, bandit, bandit. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, it's Clara! Guys, he's a, he's one of the clan boys that we stole the AKs from. This is a guy that we stole the AKs from. Clara was part of Joe's clan, and this is where things get interesting. Clara went home to get a gun. Well, so did I. No, oh, thanks, Clara. Nice farming mission, mate. <clears throat> I went back to continue eco with my new friends, but Clara brought a bigger gun. Time for AK? Clara, yeah. Time for AK. Time for AK. It destroyed my bag! I think his main guy got banned. I think that's what it is. That's why his main guy is not on.
fight. What was he using? Fuck them! Come on! Another AK set. Saw Tommy. Get shit on. We cannot lead them back to our base, guys. We cannot lead them back to our base. Oh. Someone is dead. What the hell, man? Leave my base alone, you random naked. They probably think it's actually Twig Twig, you know? Yeah, that's one of them. Can you pick me up, please, man? Can you pick me up, please? Boomang? They got fucking bags everywhere. They're trying to locate my base, guys. That's what they're trying to do. They got bags everywhere. I'm gonna do a big run. I want. I hope you know watching me. I'm gonna run past my base and loop round. I want to hope they're watching, so they can hear the direction I'm going in. You see, they're running that direction. Hey, look, they're looking for me. Look at that, guys. They are tracking. Take shots. Okay, I might have done the greatest duke ever. They are tracking my shots. Look at that. There was one running the beach over there. And there's one there. They look geared. Just trying to get to my base undetected. Finally. Finally, we got this eco raid done. And it's as to... Okay, we've got some metal. As to be... He's got metal. He's got wood doors throughout. We are going to use this as a counter base, guys. Right. My upkeep is 23 HQ a day. That's better. All right. One thing I can't do is leave good loot here like I did. All this needs to go. So after aggravating Joe's clan, I unfortunately had to go and play in a paddle tournament, which meant I had to leave for like four hours. So I sealed my bunker and hoped for the best. Okay, and we survived again. Is this a raid base? Did they get raided? Your raid base. Oh damn, did they get raided? They got raided. I was only gone four hours. I guess that protects me. GG. Well. Who's my target now? Surrounded by clans, every single one of them had been wiped out. By who? I'm not sure. Joe's clan, gone. Lighthouse crew, gone. Why didn't I get raided? Maybe I wasn't big enough. Maybe my base was too disguised. I have a feeling if I lived in a base that was, well, relatively chaddy, it would have been raided. But you can see even that furnace base got raided by this group running around. Who they are, I don't know. But something tells me my base is yet to face its stiffest test. Oh no, you got raided as well. There's a new clan in town and they're on top of a cliff overlooking this whole valley. And they went on a raiding rampage just to find me because of what I did. I pissed them off so much they're raiding every base in this area. There's not many bases left except my base. There's actually no bases left other than mine. This is not... I've never seen a group tilt so hard. Did the Indians get raided? 
You yeah, know, the Indians got raided. Oh, the poor Indians got raided. Who was going to prevail, this clan or me? They went on one hell of a rampage, as I said, but would they find my base? I bagged in Sora to help me with this one. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this next part. <laughs> They're shooting the hot air balloon. They're rocketing my hot air balloon. How funny is that? I'm, I'm, I've really pissed these boys off. 